Hi everyone! In this video we're going to take a look at a new blush product from Almay, a brand that doesn't really get a lot of love in the beauty community, so I'm always curious or more curious than maybe with some other brands when they release something that looks eye-catching. So this video is going to be for swatches and a first impressions review of Almay's new Healthy Hue blushes. So if you want to see what these colors look like, how they apply to the skin, and get my first thoughts, then make sure you keep watching. Subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. And of course, if you missed the latest video, I will link that in the upper right hand corner for you. It is my thoughts on Huda Beauty's new Wishful Enzymes scrub which I see a lot of people giving rave reviews to and once again I feel like there are some really important things to consider about the product not being that great that you might want to know about before you decide whether to spend your money on that product. I also spend a lot of time giving you much better alternatives a lot of which are not only better with ingredients but also are much more affordable so if you're interested in any of those kinds of things make sure you go check that video out. All right, let's get looking at Almay's new Healthy Hue blushes. So these blushes are being released in four different shades, and you can purchase these through places like Ulta Online, CVS Online, and Amazon too. As always, I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find them to buy them online, as well as a link to Rakuten so that if you're doing online shopping, you can get cash back automatically. Now the price for these varies pretty significantly between the different retailers. Through Ulta, they are retailing for $11.99 each. Through CVS, they seem to be much more affordable. They are around $8.99 each. And then on Amazon, for some reason, one of the blush shades is at a ridiculous $15.80. I'm not sure why, but then the other ones are $8.98 each. So if you're interested in either the shade So Peachy or Wild Berry, then Amazon's going to be the cheapest place to purchase them. You can also find them through Walmart online for also $8.98 each. So Almay's claims about this product are as follows. If you're looking to get a flush of color, our smooth powder blush allows you to effortlessly kiss your cheeks with the perfect touch of color. The lightweight blendable formula has loads of pigment and creates the kind of healthy looking rosy glow you've always wanted. Made with sustainably sourced paper, which I think is really interesting when it comes to the packaging. So the key benefits are supposed to be that it's lightweight, it blends effortlessly for a flush of color, it's supposed to have high pigment and true color payoff, a silk-like formula that is buildable so you can have it be subtle or more intense. It's formulated without adding parabens, phthalates, SLS, mineral oil, and several other ingredients. Also, this product is cruelty-free and fragrance-free and oil-free. And for the price, you get 0.17 ounces of product. So let's look at the packaging first. I feel like this is different from what Alma usually comes out with. And like it says, it is a little more eco-conscious with recyclable paper. Um, you have a clear plastic lid so that you can actually see the blush itself, which is nice so you can see what the actual color is like, at least in the pan. And so the rest of it is, it kind of feels like cardboardy. It does close magnetically and uh, obviously you don't get any sort of mirror inside, but the blush pan is in there and you have this kind of embossed um, design on there too. And then the number and name of each shade will be at the bottom there. And as I said, you get 0.17 ounces or five grams of product. So up close, here is shade 100, nearly nude. 200, so peachy. Three hundred, pink flush. And four hundred, wild berry. So as I usually do with powder products, I'm going to use a brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush and do brush swatches for you first. Then we'll go back in with finger swatches. So starting with 100 nearly nude. This is a medium 
nudie shade with a brownie peach tone to it. That's a pretty good color, actually, for being described as something more sheer at first. And it has a very subtle luminosity to it. Let's go back in and build this up, see how much stronger the color gets. So here's layer number two. A little bit of a buildup in color. Next to swatch is 200 So Peachy, which is really nice, bright, peachy shade. The pink undertone. Let's apply a second layer here. Again, color builds nicely. You still get a flush of color that seems to be workable and easy to work with. It doesn't look too clowny or anything like that. This one also has a subtle luminosity to it. Third is going to be 300 Pink Flush. And this is a medium pink. It's a slightly mauve toned pink. Let's layer it up. First layer is good color, but you know, kind of translucent. This one, I think, still has a bit of luminosity to it, but it doesn't seem as strong as with the first two. And fourth is going to be 400 Wild Berry. And this is a deeper nudie berry shade. So you might expect from the name. Again, it is sheer, kind of in finish, but the color is still very good. Gonna do last layer, second layer on that one. All right, so there are the four new blush shades from Alme. Um, that last shade that we swatched, again, has a bit of luminosity to it. I would say just as strong as the third color, but a little less than the first and second shades. Here we go up close. So you can see the finish and the texture. All of these applied pretty smoothly. And as you could tell from the first versus second layers. They build up nicely too. All right, and for comparison, we'll just do some concentrated finger swatches. We've got nearly nude. Wow, look at how concentrated that is. And so peachy. And the last two, pink flush and wild berry. So there are your concentrated swatches. You can see the finishes there too. I would say that, you know, the two shades are certainly different, but especially after you've blended them out onto the cheeks, it's hard to tell the difference. So you may want to think twice about picking both of these shades. May just want to pick one. So in this footage, I tested out the shade 200 So Peachy, applying that with a fluffy blush brush, the e.l.f. pointed powder brush. And I really like the way that this formula functions. It gives you a good flush of color. I don't know that I would really call this sheer. Uh, maybe it's can be described more on the natural side, but it's definitely not weak in pigmentation, even with just one layer. It blends nicely over the skin and the shimmer in there is very natural and subtle. So I haven't tested out all of the shades on my cheeks. I've just tested out this 
that one so far. If you want to know my further, more developed thoughts after I continue to wear these and use all the shades, those kinds of more thorough reviews I always put in my monthly What's New in Beauty videos. So make sure you check out March's What's New in Beauty video. I like the color selection too. Even though there are only four shades in this range, I think they have done an excellent job of choosing the different kinds of tones that people may be looking for, starting with a nude shade, moving on to a more peachy shade, having a pink shade, and then having a more berry toned shade. I think that pretty much covers the spectrum um, of the typical and vast majority of blush tones that people are looking for. So that's great too. And of course, I do appreciate the more eco-friendly packaging that they have decided to put these blushes in. So those are my thoughts overall of this new product from Alme. I am pleasantly impressed um, and glad that they've brought out something they think is definitely worth the around $9 price point that they are selling these at. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch these kinds of videos and I'll see you in the next one.